I was always following my mother. We lived in the village, in the farm, and I became one with nature, as it were. I went to fish, I farmed with my father. Looking back now, I realized that we were living in abject poverty. And yet we were very happy. For me, that is a, a dilemma that is very, very difficult to resolve. There was a sense of religion, the fear of the Lord. It's a pity that nowadays Christians think that um, those who follow traditional religion are not godly. Uh, the, even the word they use to translate uh, the, the followers of traditional religion or following traditional religion is very insulting. Those who do not know God. Imagine, these people knew God and they know God and they respect God more than Christians. Believe it or not. The bishop pastoral visit was at St. Paul's. Now every year it has been his plan or duty to visit every parish in his diocese. So we knew that he would be coming to this parish at this time. And uh, so we planned that when he visited, he would like him to commission the social centre. <laughs> When you come to this parish in the evenings, you see that a lot of people having meetings in the in the compound, you know. Especially with the children. We are very particular about the children. And you have to teach them the doctrines of the church. So that's why we started this building. And uh, since then they are happy to contribute. Because in the long run, they know that they are, it's going to help them. We aim at being Ashanti and Catholic. You cannot be Ashanti at the expense of being Catholic, then you are not a Catholic. You cannot be a Catholic at the expense of being an Ashanti. Then, then, then you are imitating somebody's culture in, a, in an area which is vital to you. And that striking of the balance between culture and uh, Christianity is a big problem. In my theological studies, I came to realize that a little bit of expertise in the analysis of 
the society from which I came would help me apply theology to the situation in which I was going to work. I know that when he came from Oxford, when he came from Europe, after he graduated as an anthropologist, he started, in, and when he, especially when he became a bishop, he started to introduce some things in the church, like drumming, for instance. And I know in the beginning, people resented it. Old men called me, Father Sampon, I wasn't a bishop. You are going to spoil the church. I'm going to spoil the church because I'm using something Ghanaian, Ashanti, in the church. Even my own parents, they thought it was something unheard of for drumming to be uh, for drums to be played in church, for people to dance in God's house. It was when I went to Ireland that I really appreciated my own culture. There is no dance, no movement whatsoever. And I found our liturgy here so uplifting because you use your whole body to express whatever you want to. Unlike before, where I would be a bit reluctant to dance in the church, now I dance freely in the church, and then like I make a lot of movement when I am worshiping the Lord. Christianity is a religion of love, of compassion, of peace, of unity. Everything else is like an envelope in which you carry a letter. The important thing is the letter. When the Europeans brought the church to us, they brought the church to us in the European garment, in the European envelope. When we were saying Mass, it was all in Latin. And we, at some point, we had to say, mea culpa, mea culpa, mea maxima culpa. Mea culpa means my, through my fault, through my fault, through my own grievous fault. But, Along with the signification came the European's symbol. He said, strike your chest. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. Now in Ashanti, a man will say, I strike my chest. That means I am strong. I am a man. I don't fear you. I'm going to fight you. So we were told to tell God by our sign, action that we are going to fight him and by our mouth we were saying we are sorry for what you have done. So a time came when we had to dismantle gradually the envelope, the garment and put on if you like our own Government. Anthropology has told me that there are symbols, symbols are very important. So the point, the first thing is which are the symbols I can use from my culture to express what the church wants to express at this point and at that point and at that point and at that point. That's what the, what the exercise is about. <laughs> Amen. 
and after the great amen 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 then the girls came to dance that is the climax of the mass when we offer the body and blood of Jesus with the Holy Spirit and we attach ourselves to Jesus to offer this to God the Father forever and ever. At this point, you picture God the Father sitting down as I'm sitting down. You see? Then the girls come and dance before him, thanking him. So, and, the, and the dances are all symbolic. They first come and turn towards the altar. I depend upon you. That is all. I lean upon you. That's why we are telling God. Language can be symbolic, can be vocal, can be corporeal, can be anything. And in our culture, symbolic language can be even more effective than verbal language. So that's what they come to say. They come to say, thank you very much, Lord. We depend upon you. That's all. Then they go back and come back with the back of their right hand in the palm of their left hand. What does the church want us to express here? That God is king. He has accepted our sacrifice. I then go and dance. Uh -huh. What does the church want us to uh, want us to express here that we are sorry. Uh, well, then don't strike your chest. Then put the back of your right hand into the left of your hand. The people who condemn these things don't have a clue as to what they signify. Am I going to bring girls to come and entertain me in church? A gentleman came to interview me for the BBC. And then he was saying that people are saying that you are overdoing it. I said, I'm overdoing what? What am I overdoing? If I say, let us thank God, and I say, thank you God, what, what am I overdoing? If I go and stand in the pulpit to preach, that is not overdoing it because it has been done in Europe. For me, it is, a, it, is a, it is the worst form of domination, spiritual domination, religious domination. Your mind is so set, the mindset, that everything African is bad. Huh? It is superstition. That is what it is. Uh -huh. That is what it is. Good <laughs> 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 You see, even when the Pope came here, I was then in the seminary, he said the, the future of the church is in Africa. So if you, the future of the church is in Africa, and we cannot introduce our culture into our liturgy, how is the future of the church in Africa? 